A thumbnail is as important as the video that you intend to post on YouTube. Because without a thumbnail, your videos won't be enticing enough for people to want to watch it. And when people don't watch your videos, you don't get paid. So in today's tutorial, we are creating four custom thumbnails for free using Canva. Open the Canva app. Here is what your screen would look like. Simply click on this plus sign here and it will take you directly to the search bar. In the search bar, kindly type in YouTube thumbnail. Click on the first one. These are some free to use thumbnails. All you need to do is to edit the image or test, but because we are creating our stop on camera rule, Pick any image you would like to edit. Click on these three icons here close to the delete button. Tap on set image as. And that's it. It's automatically locked in. Here's a beautiful party jalaf. Then go to text. Click on this add a little body to text because it's easier to manage unlike add a heading and the rest of them what i'm writing in here is ninja party jalof because this is a title that whosoever sees it, especially for my home country people instantly they will click on this Click on this dot here to enlarge the text or tap on font size. You see edit, font, text styles and font size. Enlarge it as much as you want. That's it. Then drag it up to fill the entire area. Click on color. That's if you want to change the color of your text, but I'm not changing mine. I prefer white. So click on format. Select B. B stands for bold. Here's what it now looks like. Adjust it as much as you want. For a cooking thumbnail, your picture doesn't necessarily need to be there. What you really need is a picture of the meal that you intend to prepare or the recipe you are sharing with people that's all you need in your thumbnail because at the end of the day nobody wants to see your face they just want to learn how to cook party jalof go to effects effects shadows click on glow here's what it looks like click on it again and remove the blur Remove it entirely, then exit. That's it. Here is our Ninja Party Jellof thumbnail. So click on these three lines here. Go to home. We are creating another thumbnail. YouTube thumbnail as usual just like we did the first one click on the first one camera roll select an image right now we're doing a motivational thumbnail I love these stones a lot I really love it <laughs> set image as and that's it go to text add a little bit of body to text six type in error six keys two sources Then go to color 
I feel like the color should be white for a success story. Then click on format, bold, font size, increase the font size. Adjust your text. Don't be in a hurry. For you to get a good result, you need to invest your time. You can't rush into it and rush out. At the end of the day, you come up with something crappy. Go to effects, effects, shadows, glow. Remove the blur amount just like we did in the first tutorial. And yeah, here's what we have. Six keys to success. When you look closely, you notice that the stones here are six. Hence the reason why I wrote six keys to success. You have to always pay attention to details because simply because you didn't notice it doesn't mean that the other person wouldn't. I will show you how to save the generated thumbnails at the end of this video. Click on the plus sign. Type in YouTube thumbnail. Click on camera roll and select an image. The next thumbnail we are going to create now is a comedy thumbnail. I've gone ahead to select this picture, but mind you, this is not the picture that I'm going to use. I simply chose this one because I would like to show you how to replace pictures when you're creating a thumbnail and you don't like the particular image you're using. I'm trying to show you now how to change that image. So what I'm just doing here now is playing with colors. So I'm playing with different colors to see the color that would best work with it. But I know for a fact that it will not work. Tap on your background image and these options will pop up. Click on replace. In your camera roll, select the picture you would like to replace it with. And that's it. Click on text. Go to color. Pick the colors that you want. I prefer white. Click on fonts and choose your preferred font. That's how you want your text to appear. Like this video if you haven't done so already. Hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon so that you'll be among the first persons to get notified once my next video drops. I would like to hear your thoughts and questions in the comment section. Go to color. Click on the color box. Choose your preferred color. And that's it. Go to effects. Choose your preferred text effects. That's how you want your text to appear. And that's it. So let's go back now and create one more thumbnail. I forgot to mention this earlier. Any image you would like to use as a thumbnail, ensure you save it in a 16 by 9 format because that's the appropriate aspect ratio for YouTube thumbnails. Now, when you save it in a 16 by 9 format, the moment you click on those three dots close to the delete button, it fills the entire canvas and you still see the images looking beautiful. But when it's in a different format, it either looks cramped or it just gives you something crappy. That's, that's just it. So please make sure you save it in a 16 by 9 format before you begin. Makeup is under beauty and beauty is a very competitive niche. There are so many eyebrow tutorial videos, lipstick tutorial videos, eyeliner tutorial videos. But in my research, I found out that there aren't a lot of people talking about side effects or why you shouldn't do this or why you should use this. So if I was a new YouTuber who's um, into makeups, I think I would focus my channel more on telling people the effects and side effects of doing this makeup and doing that makeup because at the end of the day, everybody applies makeup to their face, some on a daily and some regularly. So you coming up to tell people this will happen to them when they do this. This will happen when they do that. I think it gives you a clickable rate. Yeah, 
it increases your clickability rates because people would want to watch your videos people would want to know what you're talking about and that's just it and very important make sure your videos are straight to the point it's not about creating a clickable thumbnail don't come in your videos and start telling people my name is this yada 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 nobody wants to know who you are nobody cares about your name or what you did today they simply want to learn and go this is an enigmatic thumbnail because it says five side effects of using makeup every day now me coming across this thumbnail i don't know if the side effects are positive and i don't know if they are negative so it has a certain mystery and intrigue to it and anybody who comes across this thumbnail even i myself personally if i come across this thumbnail i would want to watch and see what the person is talking about let's add glow very important reduce the blur amount go to spacing increase the line spacing to increase the line of the text that's it now click on this arrow facing downwards to save the video click on download and that's it thank you for watching this video to the end and until i come your way again the pleasure is mine now and always my next tutorial video will be on how to create international TikTok accounts. Yep, to create an account that TikTok can pay you in.